Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Thanks for stopping by. I, I did want to uh, remind everybody the Matrix Gold Stellar Gym Vision uh, Virtual Summit will be coming up in uh, from May 15th to the 19th. It's free for everyone. All you have to do is register, and register will be opening up uh, April 3rd. Uh, and there will be five days, so you can uh, sign up for which day you want, I guess, or all of them, I guess. Uh, day three will be the Matrix to Matrix Gold transition for all you people that are transitioning. Uh, they are going to be talking about the printers, the B9 printers, industry trends, and jewelry trades in the Middle East, Western Asia, and uh, the USA, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm probably going to be at that one. Uh, and also Stoller B and uh, B D business B and B maybe uh, laser business. Uh, there's also going to be special offers. So if you're interested, please uh, make sure you uh, uh, register. Uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be a cutoff or uh, how many people will be able to register, but they will also be uh, uh, opening it up. I think for uh, questions from uh, you, you whoever's viewing, so you'll be able to ask questions and stuff like that. Uh, during the the summit itself so maybe it's something you want to attend if it is please stop by and check it out uh again i don't have any affiliation with the uh, gym vision matrix gold or stellar uh just promoting uh the virtual summit I think that's something that maybe some of you want, might want to check it out so let's move on to the project for the day well, finally it's been a little bit of time uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Hope you find the video useful. If you're a return viewer, thanks so much for uh, watching the videos. And if you're a subscriber and supporter uh, of the channel, uh, really appreciate it. Uh, can't tell you how much. Uh, sorry I haven't posted any videos lately. Just been really, really swamped with a lot of different things. But I have some time coming up. So uh, I'm going to try to do quite a few videos here in the next uh, several weeks. Uh, so uh, please stay tuned. Uh, let's get going on this. Today we're going to talk about a series. It's kind of a bit like a series of things. Uh, basically all about uh, curvature, degrees, points, surfaces, uh, and how to check curvature. Because, you know, a lot of times you don't think this is kind of important uh, for the... For working with matrix uh, but it really in order to get continuity and good clean surfaces and smoothness in your items this is very important if you're a uh, brand new to matrix uh, or matrix gold uh, it's it's probably a really good foundation that, that you'll uh, find very interesting and, and very useful uh, so I hope it really helps, and uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, first, uh, we're going to have uh, all degrees, 1 through 5, coming up, and uh, we're going to just be checking the curvature of each individual line. This is a key here on this particular one. Next one we'll go to uh, between two curves uh, and checking continuity and how to tell whether it's tangency or, or uh, curvature continuous or uh, however uh, you know you're, you're wanting to set it up. Uh, but this one is uh, just a line. It's just a, a, a polyline, right? Uh, so what we want, how do I know, in case you don't already know, you can type in what, just what, and it will pop up a menu for object description, and it'll say it's an index of one, it has a start and end point on it, and you can also tell it's a, a, a degree one, if you turn on your points, uh, you can uh, see that it just has the two points on it. And I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. All right. So we need to set up all degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our curve. We're going to go to our gumball, hold down alt, and then click on our gumball and just drag it down. Okay. Right now I have record history on down here. Right. And I wanted to show this for maybe the newer users. Uh, so we have record history, which is uh, good to have on a lot of times, but sometimes, uh, let's cancel that, uh, a lot of times you, you don't want it on, and, and this will be why. So if I take this curve and I move it, uh, all my curves uh, updated, right? But if I take that curve now, everything still below it is updating to this curve, right? And the same thing with, with all the others. The ones below it will update because I took it from that curve, right? And sometimes you do not want that to happen when you're laying out stuff, right? So if things are moving around on you uh, because they're joined, uh, just uh, click that off, right? And then you won't have that history uh on there so let's go ahead and redo this with history off 
real quick and uh, hold down alt click on my gumball and just duplicate these and you can tell i'm duplicating because that little plus right there at the top of my arrow uh, is is telling me that i'm uh, duplicating it uh, so that's how you can tell whether you're getting a duplicate with your gumball and let's drag this one down just a little all right so now uh, we have these out here and they're all degree one right because we can check real easy turn on our points uh turn on our there we go uh you can see that they're all degree one now we want to change these to each of these degrees now there's several ways uh, you can do this one way is just click on your curve and hit uh, a change uh, degree all right and right now it says it's a one and if you don't click deform we'll, we'll talk about this more later actually but we want yes we want to deform the curve so we're going to go ahead and click a two and hit enter okay now if i turn on points i can see that i have three points uh the points will be dictated by the degree now you can change the points but the lowest surface you can get or the lowest point count you can get will be one degree higher or one point higher than the degree so if it's a degree two it'll have three this is the most simplest form of the curve uh, that you can get uh, so if it's a degree three, it'll have four points. Degree four will have five. Degree five will have six. So let's go ahead and get rid of those points. And uh, actually, I don't want just two, three. I don't want those points uh, on there. So what I'm going to do is I want six points. And the reason being is because we want to show the differences between the curves. And I talked about a video earlier than this, uh, earlier uh, um, on this type of stuff. So you might want to skip to part two if you've already seen that video. Uh, but this, we're going to go over some uh, things in this video that are very, very helpful. Uh, so right now we have this. So you can type in the rebuild command, right? and rebuild it from a uh, degree one two points we're going to have a degree one six points and then hit okay and then we're going to just click this one right click on our uh, mouse and then we're going to change this one to a uh, degree two and we're going to change this one to a uh, degree three and we'll change this one all having six points uh, so that we can set it up so you can see the differences between all of them and oh this is a degree five and this one is a degree four all right and they all have six points and if i take them all and turn on my points i can see now i can click on any of course at any time and type in the what command and if you look over here in the what it says it's degree three control points six right so uh that's uh, you know that's very good uh information a lot of times so uh now i have my degrees out here so as you can tell my degree five are very well spaced out right my degree four i have two close ones two in the middle and then two close ones degree three is kind of the same uh, and then uh, degree two is somewhat the same, and then degree one is all evenly spaced out. Uh, but I want to align these points to show the, the major difference uh, of, of the curves themselves and the degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our transform, and we're going to click on the align command and then it says select my objects to align i'm just going to take that row of points right there uh, hit enter and then i want to align it to a line so now it'll ask me to put a line out there and i'll hold down shift and just draw a line and now it snaps all those right in a row and i'm actually going to do this to all these here so that we can see the the differences between the curves themselves so let's select all these right click to line hold down shift and they're all lining to that line, right? And right click uh, to line and then draw that line down here. Okay. So now we have all our uh, curves out there with six points on them, degree one, degree two, but they're different degrees, but all the same point count. And the reason being is because now what I can do is I can go through here, select all those points and then drag them and you can start to see uh, the differences between the curves, right? How, how much it's, uh, they're changing, right? So <clears throat> just looking at them, you can tell the degree one is very sharp. You know, it doesn't really change 
at all. It just keeps that straight point, right? It, this point affects that point. So if I move this point here, it just affects that one and this one, the one right next to it, nothing else, right? If I take the degree two, uh, you can see it's it's affecting this point here. It's it's moving with that. So watch this point and this point, and you can see it's barely affecting those, just a little bit past, not really the uh, the third one, right? And if I take the third one and move it, you can see it's a little bit deeper into the third, not quite as deep as uh or a little bit more deeper than uh the second degree right and the same thing will be uh with this now you can see it's it's well into the third now it's affecting the third and then of course when you take uh a five it'll affect pretty much point to point right okay or end to end i should say <clears throat> so that's kind of uh the different degrees all right. So basically, the, the curved degree relates to the extent of how much influence it has on the points next to it over the entire length of the curve. Right. So the higher the degree, the more extent, uh, the more uh, in or the higher degree curves have less influence with uh, the points neck or the more broad influence over the entire curve and the lower degree curves have uh, less broad influence over the entire curve uh, so that's something to keep in mind all right now we want to check uh, uh, the curvature of these uh, items right so there's uh, all kind of ways we can do this uh, but actually the one of the best ways is to just type in a curvature curvature graph and then hit enter and then we, it says to select our lines that we want it to display we'll select all of them just hit enter right and now uh, this is the curvature graph and uh, this area here is determines the size of the the curvature basically graphs that's showing and uh, this one here is the point count uh, between the the the, the hairs basically is what they're called uh it controls more hairs you can put in there so if you're wanting to check out more differences uh but basically what this is showing us right is the degree one has zero curvature right it has none um has no curvature at all so it's showing no curvature graph on it right uh, the degree two here is uh, internal internally a continuous for tangency so it has tangency uh, they're they're broken here right but it, it's maintaining tangency so internally tangent all right the degree three curve has continuous curvature it, it, there's there's no real breaks in the the grass where the the edges are right uh they don't break apart they kind of stay and the uh, degree four has contur um, continuous in the rate change no hard peaks or uh levels right and then of course the the degree five curve uh, is continuous as well but it is a little bit smoother right not not so uh uh well a little bit smoother i guess all right so that's one way to tell the you know the the curvature of your curves right so basically this tool the curvature graph is really good for uh checking to see how your curves are flow and the next part here what we're going to get into is these like i said these are all one curves right but what what it comes in really important is when you have two curves and you want to join them together uh, or you want to uh, you know have lines connected with each other that is when this is very important uh, to get the smoothness of your surface right so let's move on to that area right now okay okay there's there's one thing i forgot to mention about that i want to go back and review just a little bit and that was that deform right so uh basically if i excuse me if i take this curve here and i go to uh type in a change degree right and hit uh, enter uh, it's a degree one i want to change it to a degree say uh, four all right but if i have deform no 
it's really not going to change the internal continuity. So let's let's take a look here. So if I hit four, I get a lot more points. So basically, from each line there, I'm getting one, two, three, four. I'm getting eight, four point more points in those each individual line, and it doesn't really change the continuity of the curve. Uh, now when I move it, yeah, sure, it's going to keep those uh, bends, but it's not going to change really where these points are if i move them out you can see it's still g1 or g0 which we're going to talk about uh, shortly coming up in the next video uh so th that's kind of important to remember uh that deform uh, right uh let's take it back uh so if you 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 change the change the uh degree with the form no it's not really going to change the con internal continuity of your curve but if you select the curve and hit uh, change degree uh, with con uh, deformed yes and i change it to degree three right and hit enter now i have a degree three with uh the points that were were one let's see this would be one two three four five and six on the ends right so and there's curvature in there so that's adding that point there so you it's basically now i have uh you know like a g2 continuity right uh which we'll get into next uh but basically i i transform the curve into where it's uh has more curvature not continuity sorry but curvature continuity is between two curves which is exactly what we're going to talk to about in the next one basically surfaces continuity of surfaces and curves um so just keep that in mind a deform yes and deform no right okay so i hope that helps uh and hope that was clear <laughs> let me know <laughs> and let's move on now